Hi, I'm Tom Falvey. I'm the Director of Education here at the South Carolina State Museum, and we're in the Robert B. Ariel Collection of Historical Astronomy. One of the first telescopes, the first telescope that greets you is this beautiful instrument made by Henry Fitz, a New York maker. It was delivered to Erskine College in Due West, South Carolina in 1849. The telescope was used for many years and then fell into disrepair, and our donor, Robert Ariel, found it, uh, brought it back here to Columbia, and over a 13-year period was able to restore it to this beautiful shape it's in. This telescope, we believe, is the oldest known observatory instrument and the oldest made in America observatory instrument that still survives today. So it's a great piece of American history and a great piece of South Carolina history. Telescopes at this time uh, were very rare in America. All telescopes had been made in uh, Europe before this time. So this is a great instrument to look to come and see and to learn a little bit more about American observatories and American ingenuity. We're going to look at Fitz's workshop next. And Fitz worked in his his own workshop. He made his own tools. Uh, he had a couple of apprentices, his son and an Irishman named John Byrne working with him. And this workshop is a representation of the tools that he made by hand. Uh, he taught himself astron astronomy about, he taught himself telescope making. He also made cameras and he traveled to France and Germany, uh, studied with Daguerre to learn how to do some of this work. He brought it back to America and this is the result. So this recreation of Fitz's workshop, which was on Long Island in New York, uh, is a place where you can see 19th century telescope making uh, at its finest. Let's take a look at some of the American instruments, which is really what we pride ourselves with here in South Carolina at the State Museum. This collection is just some of what we have, um, and these telescopes represent some of the finest made instruments in uh, the United States at the time. And what happened, of course, was as America started making great instruments, observatories popped up and um, science started happening. And it's a great story when you think about all that was happening during the American Industrial Revolutions in the 19th century, and these instruments play an important part of it. And one really important instrument right here on this riser is the John Brashear telescope. John Brashear was a Pittsburgh maker. Um, he was making in the early 1900s, late 18. And this telescope was made in Pittsburgh. It's an early brassier, and he was a machinist. Now, people, regular folks, could not afford telescopes. Telescopes truly were for the rich. Uh, John Brashear helped to make uh, telescopes affordable to everybody, and it began that process that uh, made, made telescope making available to everybody. So, uh, as a machinist, there were people who could do machining work. They could do the metal work, they could do the woodwork, but they couldn't necessarily make the lenses. So, there was a whole business in just making lenses where the light comes through and all the fine work has to be done. And then the machining, people who had farms, people had all of those other skills could do those work. So he could, he could make that happen for people so that they could have telescopes. And then following that, some of these later telescopes that go down the line are commercial telescopes. And this is when telescope making became a production uh, thing rather than something custom made by people who were self-taught. So this entire spectrum of telescopes give you a, gives you a sense of all of the telescopes that were made during this period, this really important period of American telescope making in America.